Yo, what's going on? What's going on? All right, you know what time it is. You know what rhyme it is. I'm your gracious host, A6. God damn it, it is a Monday morning. And it's like, man, it's all right today, I guess. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's one of them in between uh, summer and fall times. So, you know, trans transferring over. Uh, before we begin, I appreciate it if you can hit that like button, comment, and subscribe as well. And let me know what you think about today's topic as usual. Um, dare I say, possibly share it. So what I um, I've been talking, I wasn't even gonna speak on this man because, like, whenever I try to explain this to people that aren't open minded, it it pretty much comes across the right way. And social media has basically uh, I'm not even gonna say social media. I want to say um, just American culture in general has pretty much breeded people to stay in their lanes and not consider a better lane or not consider a lane that could possibly be changed from um, not better better for them than to better for them, if that makes sense. So, in, in other words, um, this whole Ice Cube situation about him coming to, uh, about him coming to Donald Trump with the preposition for all these things that, um, Black people basically, I say the black people were pretty much consciously awoke, are, are, are asking for. And the thing that blows me away is, you know, the Democrats are acting like he didn't come. It's not the Democrats, the black Democrats themselves, meaning the basically the voters, are pretty much acting like he didn't come to the Democrats first. And they're basically saying, oh, stay in your lane, you a sellout, this, that, and the third, you fucking with Trump now. Like, yo, realistically, if if you even consider the fact that, you know, he actually came to the Democrats first with that, with that, uh, those ideas and, you know, basically to better black society, pretty much. It really completely makes sense. And I, you can't tell regular people this shit because then they start looking at you like you support Trump. I'm not a Trump supporter at all, and I've been saying this for the longest time, but, yo, at some point, we got to stop taking sides and start being on the sides of what's truth and what's not true. Like, yo, this, this shit got to stop, yo, because at this point, the only thing hindering us right now is us because we're stuck in the same mindset. We got to get off that Democrats have been the way to go and there's no other alternative bullshit, yo. The Democrats have proven that they aren't for us, man. And I was, like I've been saying, I was a Democrat before. But when I started looking at the facts, it's like, yo, at, at the end of the day, man, the shit, it ain't, it ain't conducive, <laughs> period. It's not conducive for us. So with that said, man, we got to get off that. But I mean, if he pitched the plan to the Democrats first and they said, they brushed him off. They was like, yeah, get back to me after we win the election. If we win the election, get back to me. Then he goes to Trump, and Trump was like, I'm all ears. Give me the details. Shit. That's not a good look for the Democrats, man. Y'all supposed to be the black people party. So why is it that somebody who's supposed to be racist and somebody who's supposed to be uh, only for white people and only uh, inter interested in white people, um, white people uh, for politics and stuff like that, or white supremacists, why is it that that person's willing to listen but the people who are supposed to be for blacks won't. It don't make sense. Or well, it makes perfect sense if you think about it. The bottom line is that the media has been lying to you. And we've been getting our chain jerked the whole entire time. People still uh, mesmerized from the Obama era and shit. And the people refuse to acknowledge the truth about Obama. And that's that's those people I really can't say too much to because they pretty much are already gone. But there's a majority... I have to say a majority of these black people are actually intelligent. And if presented with the facts that unbiased, these people should be able to change their minds. But yo, that cognitive dissonance is a bitch, man. I'm learning every day it's worse and worse. And like I said, I wasn't even going to say nothing about this topic because honestly, I, I done lost my energy. I tried to tell people and this, that, and the third, yo, it just don't matter at the end of the day. So I lost my energy. At the end of the day, I don't care no more. It's like, fuck it. Do what you want to do. You know? And just know I'll be judging you silently because I know what's going on and I read shit about shit. <laughs> and I'm, I actually look at alternate sources as opposed to the ones that only feed me what I, what I believe already. 
I look at alternate sources to challenge those beliefs. And when I look at those alternate sources, the challenges present me with the instinct to look for facts instead of what I'm just being told. And that combination draws me to what's true. I mean, it is what it is, really. You got your own system, I guess. I got my own system, but hey, I lost energy with telling people what it is. People got to know. People got to read it themselves. Nothing hits like researching it yourself. Like people can tell you all day till they blue in the face. If you don't research it yourself, it ain't going to hit the same, man. It's got to hit like, yo, I found this knowledge and this is knowledge that I need to take in. That's how it's got to be. It can't be on some, oh yeah, he told me this, but he says a lot of shit. Because that's how it'll be, a lot of shit. And that should just get put in a junk folder in their brains. And that's how people work. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it is, man. Pretty much. Let me know what you guys think about the comment section. Meanwhile, I will holler at you guys later. Peace out.